Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discussing about one of the most exciting features of Spring Boot 3.4.0 that is enhanced SRJ support for mock MVC. If you are a developer who loves writing clean, readable and powerful text, this update is going to be a game changer for you. In this tutorial, we will explore how Spring Boot 3.4.0 makes it easier than ever to use SRJ's Fluent API with Mock MVC. It's enabling us to write more expressive and concise text. We will walk through a detailed example highlighting the improvements and new capabilities that come with this release. So now let's get ready to see how this update simplifies setup it's improved the readability and provides a more robust testing experience. Whether you are a new to SRJ and Mock MVC or looking to enhance your existing knowledge, this video has something for everyone. Now we will talk about that what is SRJ support for Mock MVC. SRJ is a fluent assertion library that allows writing test assertion with a natural language syntax. Mock MVC is used for testing Spring MVC controllers without starting a full server. In earlier version, Mock MVC used Hambrest matchers or custom assertion logic. Spring Boot 3.4.0 integrates SRJ directly making the syntax cleaner and more expressive. Now we will talk about the key features of SRJ support for Mock MVC. So it's have some improvement features like one of the features is that fluent assertions. It introduces methods for fluent and chained assertion. It's improving the readability and reducing the boilerplate code. Next is the custom matchers. It actually allows the developer to extend SRJ capabilities with domain specific matches for more robust and descriptive Test. Next is the improved error messages. SRJ offers more descriptive error messages which helps to identify assertion failure during the test execution. So now we are going to comparison before and after. Before and after means like with the current release how it is different with the previous release of this Spring Boot 3.4.2. So we will check with some kind of the key features like if we talked about the assertion syntax then before releasing of this 3.4.0 it uses this hambrest matchers. With the current release that is 3.4.0 it's using fluent API with SRJ. Now if we talked about the readability so read relatively actually it was verbose in pre 3.4.0. But with this 3.4.0, it's concise and human readable. Now, error messages was limited and less descriptive with the pre-release of this 3.4.0. In a current release that is 3.4.0, the error messages are detailed and clear feedback. Now, extensibility, like how we're going to use this one. So before this release, it was a custom matchers required extra setup. If we are going to use this one, so we need to do some kind of the extra setup. But with this new release that is 3.4.0, easily we can integrate with SRJ matchers. Now we are going to create one example where I am going to demonstrate that how we are going to use this extended feature SRJ with this Spring Boot 3.4.0. So for that we need to create one project where we need to check that we are going to use this Spring Boot latest version that is 3.4.0 and here as a dependencies only this dependencies is Spring Boot starter web that is only we need okay so next what we are going to do we just need to create one controller where we just need to keeping one gate method gate mapping actually let's say let me create that method over here so this is the controller actually let's say exam controller 
so to make it as controller we have used this at the rest, rest controller annotation over here and here if you see we have created one get api that is a get example here is a path that api dot example in a response we are just returning the string so that once we are calling this get example api then we are getting x means actually we are going to get this string as a response now we are going to create this another test class where we need to use this mock mbc so for creating this one we need to come over here src test java under this package we are going to create this class let's say example controller test okay we need to annotate this particular class with spring boot test and mock auto configure mock mbc these two annotation basically we need to use to support this one next we need to annotate this mock mbc annotation and mock mbc class this one okay this mock mbc we need to use as a auto wear okay now we need to write one test okay this get will come from let me add this this get and status will coming this is the static actually method that is coming from this mock request builder if you open this one this mock request builder okay so this is available in this particular class okay so now after using this mock mbc we can call this particular api and here if you see this and expect status is okay and here we can get the result response content is a hello srj doesn't contain error okay now if we run this application then it will work fine because we are going to call this one and then we are getting the result over here let me run this application it will open the run the application and start the application and then see we are getting the response and it's passed now next we are going to call that we are going to check this head header actually that what header we are passing actually in a response what header we are getting so here the content type we need to check so that also we are going to check after checking the response we are getting the another option that is get header and from here we can check the content type and here we can see that content type would be not null and is equal to this text or plain so now if we run this one as a JUnit test then it will run and if you see it will give us the response soon both test cases passing now right so in this way we can write the test cases using this new feature here if you see we can directly use this one as a chaining kind of thing so there is no complexities we can directly use those feature now we have covered most of the thing just two point I need to mention over here as we have used this spring boot starter web so this actually dependency is already bundled with this srj module so that's why we don't need to add any extra module over here so that's why if you notice that we have not added anything over here so now we will talk about that benefit of it is like as you can see over here like it's actually enhance the readability right so if you see this one that's here it's a very simple simple means it's actually eliminates the need to switch between the ham rest matches and the mock mbc specific methods right it's actually streamline the testing provides a unified approach reducing in the learning curve for teams already familiar with srj also it's maintain the consistency like uni brings the uniformity in assertion styles across the various testing libraries in spring boot now like uh, we can say like when basically we need to use this SRJ support it's especially useful for teams looking to 
modernize their test suit for better maintainability and expressiveness so now actually about this is actually all about this tutorial so now if we that's like wrap up for today's uh, tutorial about this spring boot 3.4.0 and uh, it's enhanced SRJ support for mock MBC I hope this video has provided you with valuable insight about this new feature that can simplify your testing processes Spring Boot 3.4.0 is set to make our development much easier. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and happy coding. See you in the next video.